This is Sora Street, a Tyrannosaurus in the Veggie Patch. <laughs> This is Tyrannosaurus in the Veggie Patch by Nick Falk, illustrated by Tony Flowers and published by Random House Australia in 2013. It is about Jack, his friend Toby, his dog Charlie, and a great big Tyrannosaurus that he finds in his garden one morning. One day, Jack wishes on a shooting star for a Tyrannosaurus, but when one actually appears, he decides it needs to go back to the Cretaceous period pretty quickly. Will Jack and his best friend Toby manage to build a time machine and take the dinosaur back whence it came? Read Tyrannosaurus in the Veggie Patch to find out. I like this book a lot. It's easy and fun to read. The language is mostly quite simple. There are some difficult words in there, but occasionally it, the story will tell you what these more difficult, more challenging words actually mean. It is a funny story, the pictures are really nice, and it has plenty of dinosaurs, not just the Tyrannosaurus in the garden. The only thing that I would say that some people might not like about this book are that the characters and the story really are quite simple and you're not going to feel very emotional about these characters. They're very simple. There's really not a lot of difference between Jack and Toby, for example. The only other thing is that it is a little bit unbelievable at times. Uh, for example, they construct a time machine out of clocks and machines. A time machine is made of time and machines. Uh, which is kind of unbelievable. If you're more serious about your science fiction, you might think that that's a little bit silly. But uh, that's what keeps the story quite nice and simple. So, let's have an extract. You can read along and listen at the same time. And as you do that, think about how many words you know, and if there are any that you don't know, and see whether you would find this book easy to read um, or interesting. Chapter 1. The Veggie Patch That's weird. Charlie's not barking. Why isn't she barking? She always barks in the mornings. Charlie's our dog. She's small and very hairy, and every single morning I get woken up by her barking to be let in. I don't blame her, really, especially at this time of year. It's winter, and it's really, really cold outside. Anyway, she's not barking, and that's really odd. I go outside and look for Charlie. She's not in her kennel. The two cushions I gave her aren't there either. I look under the car. Nope. Not a dog in sight. She must be in the veggie patch. Charlie loves digging up mum's vegetables. I walk around the side of the house to look, but she's not there. And that's really weird. But not nearly as weird as what is in the veggie patch. There's a great big Tyrannosaurus! It's lying right there in the middle of the veggie patch. I'm not kidding. It's enormous, with a huge head, huge feet, and a massive tail. I know it's a Tyrannosaurus because I recognize the little arms with two claws from my dinosaur book. My dinosaur book also says that Tyrannosauruses are extinct, which means they don't live anymore. And I can tell you one thing. The book is wrong about that. The Tyrannosaurus opens one eye and looks at me. It looks guilty. And that doesn't surprise me. Because it's obviously eaten Charlie. And that makes me really mad. I'm just about to tell the dinosaur exactly what I think of it when I hear a whining sound from behind me. I spin around and there's Charlie hiding under a holly bush not being eaten. Hooray! But she does look really scared, and that doesn't surprise me either, because there's a great big Tyrannosaurus 
in the veggie patch. This book is mostly easy to read, with some challenging parts too. There are six books in the series. I would recommend it to anyone who is starting to read chapter books in English, or anyone who likes dinosaurs. Mr O approves of Tyrannosaurus in the veggie patch.